guys. Hello. I wanted to make a video about how to dye your hair with henna. There's a lot of guides online. I think it's a little bit more helpful to see someone actually do it in video form. So, <laughs> dyeing your hair with henna uh, has a lot of pros, but it also has some cons and you have to be really sure that you want to dye your hair with henna. It is very, very, very permanent. Uh, it actually bonds with the keratin in your hair. I've seen people say that you can try to bleach out the henna, but I don't think that's really good for your hair. So yeah, that's what's one con. So that's one pro is that it's super permanent. Uh, another one is that it's really good for your hair. The cons, uh, it is messy as all heck, ladies and gentlemen, probably just ladies. Make sure that you have a lot of your surfaces covered, surfaces on your body and also not body surfaces. And also another con is that it is time consuming. Not only do you have to leave it out for 12 hours after mixing, before you actually use it, uh, it you will leave it on for about four to five hours. What I use is body quality henna, which gives you this color. Um, obviously it's different on every person, but it gives you a really nice natural red color. You can also dye your hair black and dark brown with henna by mixing it with indigo. I will say I don't have experience doing that. I will link to a few articles and tutorials on how to do that below. Let's do it! Alright, so first you're going to pour it into a bowl and squirt the lemon juice in and you're going to pretty much use enough so that when you mix it, it looks like that. Pretty gross green mashed potatoes is the goal here. So after that, you're going to cover it with plastic wrap and put it away for 12 hours. And then you're going to get this beautiful baby diaper paste. I'm sorry, that was really gross. So the goal here was that I accidentally dyed my hair a little bit too dark this time around with box dye. So I wanted to get back to that uh, natural orange shade. Uh, as you can see, I'm just wearing a shirt that I don't care about. You can wear a hairdresser's cape, a raincoat, or even just a, a trash bag. Gloves. Trust me, you're gonna want these babies. All right, you're gonna take that good old Shrek concealer, and basically, you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and just glob that on your head. And let me tell you guys, this stuff does not smell great. It's pretty nasty. If you haven't made this face while using henna, then you're not human. It pretty much smells like caterpillars. Like if the movie Bugs Life had smell of vision that's what it would smell like. Fun fact, first time I dyed my hair with henna, I watched The Dark Crystal. So now, every time I use henna, I think of this movie. My method throughout this is kind of just to separate and glob because your hair is going to chunk together and you're going to miss some spots. And you're going to kind of feel like guacamole girl. So again, separate and glob. Uh, you will find a lot of spots where your hair is kind of clumped together. Just go ahead and glob it on. And now that you're feeling the most attractive that you've probably ever felt in your life, next step, take a selfie. Next step, you're going to want to smush all that hair on the top of your head. And if you already didn't feel like a bowl of guacamole, time to add plastic wrap. And now you wait four to five hours. One eternity later. All right. So you're basically going to be channeling Link from Encino Man. And like Link from Encino Man, it's time to wash it all out. 
Like scene for scene, guys, I'm serious. Love loves going to leave to on my shirt. And your bath is gonna look something like this. I, am I wish I was exaggerating. And that's about it. You're a Weasley. Congratulations. Now don't be shocked if your hair is super bright orange. Like I'm talking Hilly Williams misery business bright orange. It takes about 48 hours for the color that you're actually going to have to set in. That is it. Um, I hope this was a little bit helpful. Or a lot of bit helpful. Let me know if you guys end up trying it. Um, you can tag me on social media or whatever. I hope you guys have a lovely day. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Nice.